All right, we're right back where we left off here on episode two of Milliner Meditations, and let's get right back to work. I do not like how this is not lining up, so I'm gonna fix this because I'm particular that way. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do to fix all of this, but I think I might keep it at three. It might be okay if I just do three, and then all I need is a couple more polished here. That was going to be the entrance into the house, but we might change that and just do it right here. Alrighty, next order of business is to get up a fence. I don't have a lot of brick or uh, variety choices here. You know what do I want to use? Let's see about using a cobble fence for all of it. I'm not sure right now. Presumably more baddies will have spawned down here. Doing that with just a couple of leather boots ain't too bad.
All righty, we got our prize. We got a couple of more iron and we got our cobblestone. So let's get the windows ready. We also need some sand. So let's go hunting for some sand. Now, when we have the reputation for it, we will use stained glass windows from the Normans in here once we have the ability to buy those. We'll try to do that for each house, each little structure as we go along and explore. We'll try to use the materials of that culture. I think what I want to do is have spruce fences on my deck, I think. Something else interesting, we have no way to debark the trees. They cannot be debarked. They're going to be looking like that. So many things we take for granted in uh, later versions of Minecraft. And we just found another one. There's no connectivity between fences and glass so that we can't have the kind of effect we we're looking for here. Oh boy. Which means that I just wasted all this extra uh, cobble. I might as well find another use for it, I guess. I'll use it for livestock pins later. I'll just leave the materials here for later. Let me guess, I need a pick now on top of everything else. So the question becomes, how do I add any sort of three dimensionality and depth to my wall? And right now I don't have an answer. I don't think there is an answer, but I will think about it. One thing I can use all this cobble uh, that I have here for, it would be really good for maybe, let me see if I'm right on this. Yeah, so we can have three-dimensionality on the uh, windows, but we can have three-dimensionality here within the uh, floor area. Okay, let's find out what's going on here. I think what I want to do is match up this corner and call that good and then i think i will remove out here to kind of give it a sense of extra girth or setup that's a cool effect that's one thing we can do at least okay so what could we use for our middle areas of our windows we've got 31 of this granite let's just use it i know it's not going to look the best but it's what we've got so we're going to use it Not sure I'm sold on this. Let me know what you guys think in the chat, but I think we're just gonna live with it for now. I know I need to figure out how to texture the walls and do more with it. Uh, I'm not really happy with my building skills right now. I'm not able to do certain things that I see other people do so easily. I just don't know quite how to do that. So I've got some more work to do, obviously. But for right now, we're gonna call it good. This is our structure and this is what we're gonna work with, so. Now it's a simple matter of getting a roof on this thing and uh, getting some more resources. And we need to figure out where the door is going around here because right now I don't know. I thought the door was going to be going in here, but I'm not sure on that. Could even have two double doors going in if we wanted, but I'll probably do something like that in one double door. Now if I do a single door, the advantage is, of course, I can then match everything up everywhere. So I've got my choices. We'll do single door for now. Let's get some more granite and finish this up.
Well, it's a little bit of difference to the walls. Still not great, but better than nothing. I think we'll gather our coins and sell the rest of our spruce to the village and we'll see what kind of blocks they need really quick before we close out our next hour's about up and that will give me the footage that I need to build your first episode with. Uh, hopefully uh, that will be each hour will be episode one and two but I might be ending up blending them depending on how much I edit out of here. But let's get some some kind of texture difference that we can use for the roof here. And then we gotta think about how can we add any difference to the wall or do the wall any differently i know one of the things that i can do is uh, get myself some more cobble and i've got some right over here i can grab with some coal and we'll go around the underside of the house and change that up a bit interesting side effect of uh, using the walls this way as you can see we've got that gap let me know what you guys think i have to say the more i look at the granite i don't like it so i'm probably going to do something else with it i don't know what what do you guys think will that work better and we'll add a little bit to this. I believe I have three plain andesite here. And we're just going to add a couple of these to kind of punctuate stuff somewhere maybe. I think one of them should be added here. Add another one here. And the last one here. We'll add more later, but that's good enough for now to give you some variety in here. Okay, now what we've got to do is figure out what we're going to do with the windows. We can't peel bark, as far as I know. Unless you have to blend wood together. Maybe that's what you have to do, so I'll give that a try. Okay, floors in place. We got some extra granite blocks, but we're wasting very little, so that's good. Okay, so what I was thinking is let's try and see if we can get a peel block. What do we get if we try to combine nothing? All right, no peel blocks are going to happen, and I don't believe... Yeah, there's nothing that way, I know that. Okay, so we just have to find some kind of a block that we can put in there that we're actually going to be happy with. And I have no idea what that block is going to be. And then the edging should be done, I believe, in cobble, which hopefully we still have some of. And we'll see if that fits and looks very good to our sensibilities. I think we might want one more layer of these here. And then we want the layer of these. I only have seven though. And then right here, I don't know quite how I want to approach that. Oh, my mouse is... Uh oh I think my mouse battery is dying on me. Can I get it to just last long enough to get me through the episode, I wonder. I think that might work, and then either we'll do oak or something else here on the ends of these. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. I know it needs a lot more work. I'm not sure it's going to match having it two toned like that. I'm not sure how I'm going to blend it in. I will probably try to do some blending of the oak with the uh, other stuff. I just don't know. So right now, let's try to use some oak in here and get these windows fixed up. Oh, my mouse is doing it again. Alrighty, so that's as far as I can get today, and I can't move my mouse around much as I'm talking to you because my batteries have just died. So I want to thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in episode 3 of Millinar Meditations. As I release these, please be sure to let me know in the comments if there's any kind of adjustments or changes you'd like me to make. Thanks. Appreciate you watching. See you in the next episode.